Hello Virgos, welcome to your mid-January spread is all about love and new relationships. So I feel like some of you are out and about on the dating scene, you're putting yourself out there and you have um, some very interesting suitors coming through. Um, first of all, I feel here you, you've got a fire sign in the picture. So this is a Sagittarius and Aries or a Leo. And this is somebody that is, um, as a romantic interest, they are really sparking your off your passion. And I feel like they're somebody who's very, very protective. They, um, they're, they're saying like they are some, someone who, you know, like you, you see them. And I feel like there is this surge of energy, like this, this surge of really, really good, passionate energy between the two of you. If for some reason this is somebody that you've um, met in the past, but things for whatever reason didn't get off the ground, this is a second chance. This is a round two, and you both will be able to pursue things or resume things and, you know, have a very, very fruitful and stable relationship. What I feel happen is um, if this is a person from your past, I feel like there was a gesture of love or friendship that was extended to the other person, but they weren't in the right mindset, mind space, or right in the right circumstances at the time to accept the love offer. So now this is a, a second chance, like a revival. And I feel that things can work out this time around because both people are on the same page and things can really get off in the manner that you know you'd hope for like you did in the past so this is a, a really really good suitor coming through for you um, either way if you are dealing with another fire sign Sagittarius Aries or Leo there is a peace offering coming through with this person especially if you have you know like irreconcilable differences between you and them there's some type of a truce there's some type of a peace offering it doesn't mean you know rekindle the relationship it just basically means that let's agree to disagree and let's try to work together as a unit either if you have children or if um, you are in a work environment with them I feel like things are really going to uh, settle down and things are going to smooth themselves out between you and this other person um, for others of you I feel like you might be single you're showing up here as the fool and the fool is basically you know brand new energy a burst of new energy coming through and i usually see this person as somebody who's in a very very carefree mode and they're kind of like loving their life they're feeling very enthusiastic they're feeling very optimistic and they're out in the pursuit of love okay so i just want you to be a little bit careful and really understand the value of another person and what they mean by that is um i feel like a lot of the times you know you you are taken in by people who are very very intelligent and I feel that if somebody is very articulate, if they use big vocabularies or if they talk a little bit faster and they're a good storyteller, I feel that you're easily taken in. And they're telling you to be a little bit careful about a smooth talker in your midst. Make sure they have, you know, backing make sure they're not just talkers but they're doers as well okay so i feel like you might be quite smitten by somebody who's a really really smooth talker and they don't really have any substance behind to support them so just be careful about that if you're headed towards that person i feel that you will be disappointed um further down the line and I see March being the month where you might feel like you know this person is not up to snuff and they're they were leading you on so just be careful about that okay they're saying a smooth talker on the other hand there is somebody in your midst especially for those who are dating multiple people or are going out and meeting new people there's another person who is very sincere and they're a little bit shy they're a little bit like uh, these are this is the person that they really want you to look at because um, I feel like they're not as they're 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 not as verbose they're not as um, they're not as friendly and they're not as like articulate but I feel like there's a shyness about them that hinders their ability to really express themselves emotionally and I feel that that can be a better it, it seems like a better uh, partner for you it seems like a more suitable person for you this person is shown up here as a water sign so this is a Pisces a cancer or a Scorpio Sun moon or rising and I feel like this person if you don't know who I'm talking about 
there's some uh, descriptors associated with this person. I feel like they come from a very, very um, destabilized home environment. So that means, you know, at a very young age, they had to find work. They had to take care of um, siblings. And I feel like they might have, you know, um, they might be the oldest or they might have like to to work at a very, very young age in order to take care of people around them. I feel like mom, their mom and dad, uh, the environment that they grew up in, um, I feel like there was like lack of money. There was a, a serious financial lack. And I feel like they've had to take care of, of other people, family members at a very, very young age. And I feel like because of that, um, they understand a lot more. They're a lot more mature. They're a lot more responsible. And um, I feel like they don't bite m off more than they can chew. So because of that, they're very cautious when they get through life, you know. They're just uh, a little bit more mindful. They're more considerate and just mindful about action. So they don't go rushing head in into something that they're not prepared to deal with so i feel like you might be wondering why this person is taking forever to make a move or you you might feel like i don't really know how to handle this person they're a very old soul is what they're saying and this is a much better fit for you okay for those of you who are out and about and looking for love this is a much better um, more suitable candidate for you at this time so they're saying that this person on the surface they might not seem like much but you really want to dig deep scratch the surface and really see the value in this person because i feel like they have a lot of wisdom insights and just you know overall they're they're not a victim of their circumstances they have made something out of themselves despite all the obstacles in their life so this is a really good person um, I feel like, you know, this spread is all relationship oriented. Um, in terms of your financial situation and your career, things are honestly looking up. So they're saying like the, the financial situation, I feel that it's very settled. For those of you who have recently moved into a new home environment, I feel like you might have had some dealings with contractors or, you know, remodeling and things like that that might have gone awry. This situation is going to straighten itself out. There will be new contractors coming through for the next two months. Others of you who might have, like, left a job or are not happy with the a current job there will be a new job for the next two months as well so i feel like things are really looking up for people over across all zodiac signs when it comes to jobs careers and you know new endeavors i feel like this january uh it's the beginning of a new year people are taking more initiative overall so i do see a lot of jobs coming through for a lot of signs so it looks good so um I hope you all have fun out in the dating world. I feel that relationships are really going to stabilize as well for those in committed relationships. If there have been financial squabbles, these things are coming, um, they're stabilizing mainly because, you know, your financial situation is also stable as well, okay? So I'll be back in February. Take care of yourself, all right? And um, talk to you soon.